Looking for the public's help in finding a woman who hasn't been seen or heard from in almost two weeks. Beth Bentley was last seen at a train station in southern Illinois back on May 23rd. Well, good evening, everybody. Friends and relatives say the mother of three was supposed to return home the next day, but she never arrived. And those friends and relatives say that Bentley would never be out of contact with her children for this long. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte has more on the investigation into her disappearance. She would always say how much she loved us. Ten-year-old Cooper Bentley and his two older brothers are very close to their 41-year-old mother. The boys say there wasn't a day that went by where Beth Bentley didn't talk to her sons or her husband Scott several times. We're pretty much her top priority all the time, so for her not to call any of us and just let her know that she's all right, it's very unusual. Even if she was having some kind of personal issues, she would have sent us a text or something that says, please, you know, um, don't let the boys worry. But it's been 12 days since the Bentley family has heard from Beth. On May 20th, the Woodstock mother traveled with a friend to Centralia, Illinois. During the trip, she called home several times. On May 23rd was the last time her husband, Scott, spoke with Beth. She told me she loved me and she just, I'll see you soon. Scott Bentley says his wife told him that she would be driving back to Woodstock late in the night of the 23rd or early in the morning on the 24th. Scott Bentley says that Beth never mentioned taking a train back. And the story is, is that, um, is that uh, her girlfriend took her to the train station, Amtrak, dropped her off, and that's the last anyone seen from her. There has been no activity on Beth Bentley's cell phone or credit card since May 23rd. Her family and friends have created a special Facebook page to try to find her. Everyone who knows Beth Bentley says there is no way that she would leave her husband or her three children. You know, that's, I, I'm just totally devastated. I never thought anything like this would happen. Woodstock Police is working with several different law enforcement agencies on this case, including the Centralia, Illinois Police Department, Illinois State Police, and the Amtrak Police. Detectives have interviewed the conductor as well as passengers on the train that Beth Bentley was supposed to be on. But no one recalls seeing her. In Woodstock, Sarah Schulte, ABC 7 News.